the legendary WL Toys 12428. There are 1.3 trillion videos on YouTube, but like all the other cars I have, I'm st I've started this YouTube channel and I'm going to show mine and what I've done to it. I have two sets of tires for this. This is a very common tire to uh, have for this as a spare. Now this one, the stock tires are a little sh are a little stiff and these are very soft. So when we go in the trails or anything, I'll put these on They're a little bigger, give it a little more clearance. But these are fun for bashing on the asphalt or light dirt. I actually prefer the way it performs better with these. Flips very easy with these because they grip so well. Where do I even get started on this thing? This is one of the most highly modified vehicles there is. I have a brushed motor in here out of a Red Cat Volcano. The servo which you can see right in here. There is the receiver. I am not taking this lid off, sorry. The ESC with a fan. Stuff is really jammed in here. One thing I've done is this drive shaft. A lot of, pe a lot of people have trouble with this drive shaft and I found one that works phenomenally. It's just a CVD all the way around. There's no pin to fly out of here. And we run it some 3S all the time. Jump no matter what. This hasn't given me any problem. One thing I really recommend with this truck is leave some of the components pla plastic. Like this arms right here. Leave them plastic. You want that thing to flex. You want flex right there. I had the metal links right here and they actually bent there were pieces of crap I put the plastic ones back on I like the way it performed better they're actually really good to go just leave them there the one things I do think you should upgrade is do not laugh at this job I, I made my own aluminum links right here on top because I was tired of the wobble this thing had my daughter said it feels like there's loose screws in it when she drives that's just good old WL Toys. Uh, I used to have trouble with the dog bones popping out until I made these. And now, no problems at all. I actually put a bushing in it. I drilled it out, put a bushing in. I did the mod with the plate, that front plate. I run 3S on, these, on this and it doesn't give me any problem. It's out of the Volcano EPX. 3S, no problem. Just add the little fan in the ESC. I don't even have a fan in the motor, just a heat sink. Man, I should really take this top off, but it is a pain to get it on. I mean, it is smushed to the max with everything in there. Uh, I cut some, I cut the back off here. I like the way it looks better like that. I like the way it looks. And I did cut this part so I can fit full size lipos in here. Just slide them down in. I've been put a piece of Velcro over. They do tuck right behind this wheel, but the wheel kind of holds them in. Um, I did order some oil shocks for it, but they're supposed to come from China, and it was about a month ago. And I don't know. I guess they're never going to come. So I just put grease in the shock that it has. It did the job for about a week. See all the grease on the spring. So. I'll order some, and you put that on my order list. I'm always ordering RC parts. I'm sure my wife loves it. Steel spur gear. Everything you could pretty much upgrade, I did. Uh, this part is my only metal link I have left for the steering. What the f that, is, that screw is so loose for my steering servo. I'm tighten that shit. Whoa, it's insanely loose. It's like ready to pop out loose. All in all, this is, I don't know what it is. It's like a WL Toys curse. 
I always, every time I'm bringing something out, I'll bring my Kaiju out. I'll bring my Volcano out. I always grab the WL toys. The 12428. It's just fun to drive. I don't know what it is. And it just flips all the time. It's not super fast. I don't know why. I, maybe I like the noise that it makes because it's the drivetrain so loud. It just has a very unique noise. I don't know what it is. If any of you want to see in depth, like how I made these or what's inside or see it run, if you ask, I'll make the video, but I'm not going to make the video without being asked because there's so many on YouTube. But if somebody wants to see it, I will take it out. Like if they have a Red Cat uh, brush motor and ESC, didn't just for the hell of it want to see. Oh, also the hex fly, the same servo that was in it too, is in it. If anyone want to see, if anyone wants to see that install or how I did that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm not taking it apart to show. I relo relocated the shocks. If I painted these, um, if I sanded them down, but really I don't care. I just take this thing outside and have a blast. That's it. That's all I'm gonna show of this buggy. One of my favorite buggies of all time, just like a lot of people. See, I kept the Red Cat controller too.